a visit to Camp A of the closed down Englewood Railway in January 2021. The Englewood Railway was a logging railway that operated on Vancouver Island on the west coast of British Columbia up until April 2017. The railway was on northern Vancouver Island. After the last day of operations in April 2017, the owner announced the permanent closure in the fall of 2017. Then in 2019, the owner announced the plans to permanently remove all of the railway. Most of this railway removal project took place during spring and summer 2020. Here's a closer look at the map of the Englewood Railway from close to Vernon Lake in the bottom right hand corner up to Telegraph Cove, actually Beaver Cove, um, in the top. This map shows the route of the railway following the 1957 um, expansion of the railway. Previous to that, um, logs were um, hauled to the south end of Nimkish Lake and then taken up by barge to the north end of Nimkish Lake and then put back on the rails. The railway was essentially a uh, main line and it was fed not by smaller railways but by trucks who would take truckloads of logs to what they called reload sites or as commonly known as transfer sites. At these reload sites, a truckload of logs would be lifted and placed onto a railway log car. So full load from truck, full load onto the log car. One log car and one truck at a time. At the time of closing of the railway, there were four reload sites. The first one in the bottom right hand corner near mile 55 was the Vernon Lake reload. That was the one that was operated by Holbrook Dyson. The second one around mile 51 is Maquilla or Maquilla. Um, I don't quite know how to pronounce it and that's near Maquilla Creek and that's also a reload site. The third one is the Wass reload and it is a little ways off the main line and it gets connected by what they called the H line, which merged then into the main line, um, just sort of in the south part of Wass. And the fourth reload is at a spot called Camp A, and that's where I've made my video. Camp A stands for Annette's Lake, and Annette's Lake is really close by, and you can see it in this map. First of all, at the top of the map is the south end of Nimpkish Lake. Annette's Lake is right there. And that's the location of Camp A. Camp A um, started around, we'll say, the late 50s, the early 60s. And I believe there definitely was a connection in time with um, the opening of the full railway in 1957 with Camp A then becoming a major reload facility. There's a satellite view of Camp A with the um, reload tower and there's lots of track. The only Y on the railway was at Camp A and there was a whole lot of track in the yard. Here's what the A-frame tower looks like at Camp A. This view is from September 2020. My first time visiting Camp A was on um, December 31st, 2018, and I was looking for railway items. I didn't quite know where Camp A was, and I just happened to stumble on it, and I was glad that I did. Camp A at that time um, had the 301 locomotive being stored there, had a lot of empty log cars, in the various tracks of the yard. And there were also some loaded log cars still that hadn't been touched since the accident in April 2017. Um, you can see that there was um, a number of tracks, number of switches, 
Um, it looked like a rail yard that was recently active, but starting to be overgrown. Between April 2017 and May 2020, the 302 and 304 locomotives, along with a caboose and a bunch of log cars, were stored in the woods on the track just north of Camp A. They were hidden from view, but if you knew where to find them, you could find them. And I took two or three visits to see them and get some photographs. But it was hard to get photographs in that constricted uh, corridor with all the trees. Locomotive 303 is the unique one of the four because it's still in Can 4 yellow. It also wasn't operable at the end. Um, years before it had been designated as the spare and then it just gradually was used less and less and when i first saw it in late 2018 it was in a lonely spot of a spur track by the nimpkish shops we're pretty much on the road or beside the road that goes down to the nimpkish lake forestry campground in May 2020, as part of the railway removal project, the various rolling stock items were moved to Camp A, with the exception of a couple smaller items that were kept at Siding 4. So Camp A became the place where all the rolling stock was assembled until it could be either scrapped or sold, and much of it is still there. When I visited Camp A in early July 2020, there were still rails in the rail yard and there were still log cars on the tracks in the rail yard. When I visited Camp A in the middle of July 2020, the log cars were in the process of being scrapped. And when I came back in early September 2020, all that was left was a sad row of rolling stock and some rail. And this brings me to my most recent visit to Camp A in early January 2021, when the situation was a bunch of scrapped items in piles, mountains of wooden ties, piles of metal ties, piles of rails, and a row of rolling stock that is starting to get smaller with a few items being scrapped already. And this introduction sets the scene for my video from the morning of January 4th, 2021 at Camp A. Camp A. Last time I was here, there were rails right where I'm standing. Now there's piles of rails way over there. Some old trucks from log cars. Steel ties. Piles of wooden ties. And heartbreak row of old diesel locomotives and other rolling stock.
very quiet here on this Monday morning, first Monday in January. This is an industrial morgue, it really is. Just waiting for these old locomotives to be disposed of somewhere. Just my speculation. That's the east leg of the Y at Camp A, what's left of it. And let's walk across where the various tracks of the rail yard were at Camp A. And I'll be at the back of the row of rolling stock as soon as I come around this pile of ties. One of the things I've learned is you see a puddle, you get down low, and you look for reflective opportunity. Like that. Wow. Now that I'm paying attention to what's actually in the row here, I'm having a little bit of a sad uh, realization that one of them is missing. What's missing, so far that I notice, is the cut down speeder, the X, V, L, and M, Victoria Lumber and Manufacturing speeder that was cut down and basically became a yard goat at the um, Nimkus shops. Bob Swanson designed that speeder. I don't see it. So caboose tally, we've got one, the 4104, and the other red one, the 4103. We'll see if the other yellow caboose is somewhere to be seen here. Um, if not, who knows where that is. Yeah, one of the yellow cabooses is missing, and then of course the other one that was at siding four it's gone as well. You never know if things will eventually turn up. Hopefully someone else has some equipment from WAS. Time to do another walk down Heartbreak Row. 301.
never know if this is the last time I see these. and the 4104 cabooses. So, if my numbers are right, 4102 and 4103 were the ones that were still in can for yellow that are now gone. Maybe this is the last time I see this in can for yellow if it gets repainted into the silver and red. Okay, let's get a close up view of Heartbreak Row here. Some moss growing here. Oh my, yeah. Two years ago was the first time I ever saw this 303 locomotive. I was just getting into understanding this old railway and I happened upon it at the shop spur track at Nimka Shops just by itself. When I arrived, it was lightly raining, and now, as I'm finishing up, it is raining again. But I'm thankful that the middle time was dry. Farewell, Camp A, in your row of locomotives.